My project is called Crimean Diaries, and the idea um, was to find three different characters um, and to try and see Crimea from their perspective. One Ukrainian, one Russian, and one Tatar. The, the main idea was to try and show the place through their eyes, but I wanted to do something that went in a way further back, so it's not just about, because this, this kind of period of the conflict there was very brief and, you know, they had, they had this uh, referendum and, um, and actually what I was more interested in was the kind of feeling of identity. So I had ten days um, and the idea was to spend um, three days with each character. It actually became very difficult to find someone Ukrainian. People wanted to join Russia. I mean, that's very clear, I think, from everybody from outside. Even if you disagree with how it was done, is that most, on, you know, for the most part, people wanted to be part of Russia. Having, looking for people from these different backgrounds was the idea of looking at what they, like, how they feel about themselves, what do they associate themselves with as a country, because... For, from an outside point of view, this idea of like switching a place between different countries has seemed very strange. There were a lot of people that we got in contact with who were, were pro-Ukrainian or um, who we'd heard of and who had left or who didn't want to talk. Um, or, you know, things became complicated. And that, that was why I found it interesting to make this search, to try and understand, like, I think that's where, you know, it becomes a little bit more political, to try and understand, like, why people, A, didn't want to talk, or, or didn't exist, or, you know, why was there nobody there, have they all left? Um, so that was interesting. One of the reasons that I wanted to do this project was to have, you know, the different points of view. And something that everybody that I spent time with on this project talked about was the kind of propaganda that's put out in the media on both sides, both in the West and in Russia. It's not a conflict zone, it's not a, but we have this misconception that that's what's going on there because of what's going on in the rest of Ukraine. Um, and what people say in, in Crimea is like, well, you know, we're thankful that we don't have a war going on here because we did this thing. 